This changes who we are. This puts us on the international front. It is a part of a serious part of our infrastructure that raises our quality of life and gives us an identity that is so rich and so international. Surrounded by thousands of soccer fans of all ages, Orlando City Soccer kicked off their stadium groundbreaking in style. Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs helped lead the event. And I am so excited to be here and I absolutely love the passion that these fans bring. But I also love what all of you all bring. I can't thank you enough for the support that you have given to this. I received so many emails on this, probably more than anything that we've ever considered here in Orlando and Orange County. And every one of them made a difference. This is the year of transformation. Mayor Dyer, thank you for your vision for what Orlando can be. Flavio and Phil, thank you again for believing in us and believing in this community. The excitement consumed Church Street Station where thousands of Orlando City soccer fans, community leaders, soccer dignitaries, and political leaders gathered to celebrate this historic event. This is a great day for City Soccer and for Orlando and Orange County, and so I'm out here to celebrate with our community partners um, for the groundbreaking of the new soccer stadium. It's going to drive um, tourism, it's going to drive economic development, job creation, and just also an identity and a brand for our community internationally. So I think it's going to do great things for our community. Oh, I mean, this is an important part of Central Florida history right here. A new major league team coming, you know, with Orlando City Soccer. And, uh, you know, bringing my son out is just equally as important because one day he's going to be bringing his kids to soccer matches like this, like we do at the Citrus Bowl and some of the other great venues. So I'm um, highly excited and you know, really amped up about being here and being a part of this. Led by a drum line, smoke bombs, and club and government dignitaries, the fans marched to witness the ceremonial groundbreaking at the site of a new soccer-specific stadium where they were greeted by the Jones High School marching band. Men, women, and children of all backgrounds took part in the landmark occasion led by Phil Rollins, president and founder of the club, and local mayors from both Orlando and Orange County. Since we first arrived in Orlando, we've been embraced and we've been loved and we've been shown the kind of support that we have here tonight. So thanks to every one of you, our partners, the community, everyone who's reached out and touched us and made this possible. Um, and last but not least, there's one really, really important group, the most important group in my mind, and that's the fans. Thanks to the fans of Orlando City. One, two, three! In a short 18 months, the new 20,000-seat stadium will be complete and become the newest stadium in Major League Soccer featuring 38 suites, 1,600 premium seats, and a unique standing room section for supporters at one end of the venue. This is not just a great day for Orlando. This is a great day for Major League Soccer, and in fact, the entire sport in this country. Going through that march from downtown to the stadium site here and seeing all the people out, I'm just simply awed by what's happened here and what's been achieved in a relatively short period of time. The fans in this community have shown the world that this city deserves a Major League Soccer team. And the world has taken notice. Orlando City Majority Owner, Flavio Augusto Da Silva, also expressed his vision to the crowd. It's never enough to say thank you. Never enough to say thank you. So I know that you has thank you everybody here, but I would like to thank you every single person here today Every, every fan, uh, me and me, and Buddy Dyer, Teresa Jacobs, so all of your teams, everybody that helped us to get in this point, in this historic day that we have here in this, in this moment. We are working hard in Europe, in Brazil, in South America, in order to promote this club. We are bring, in order to bring more, more tourists to this city. So we are very happy for this. We would like to thank you a lot for that. But I will get the opportunity today to say um, uh, again one thing that I already said in the last time. And I will get the opportunity that Mark Abbott, the president of MLS, is here. I will send to, to him a message 
from the club. So in front of all of you today. So we didn't come to this league, President, to participate. We came to win. The Lions will open their new stadium at the start of the 2016 season.